welcome friends so in this qod so this was posted as uh, qod now in this question of the day problem it's given that what are the last two digits two digits in the number 11 to the power 111 so this is what we have to find out so last two digits for example if uh, 574 the last two digits is 7 and 4 so if we take this example then let us say if, if i have to find out 11 square it is 121 so last two digits is 21 11 to the power 3 is 1331 so last two digits are 3 and 1 so likewise we have to find out what is 11 to the power 111 last two digits okay last two digits now usually uh, the tools which are used for such problems are either binomial theorem so binomial theorem or something called modular arithmetic modular arithmetic so but in this case uh, we would assume that you guys don't know uh, either of these tools so how to solve such problems so now let us say uh, so what i have expressed here as if you can see 10 plus 1 to the power n so 11 can be always expressed as 11 is nothing but 10 plus One. So, if I raise any power to eleven, it is equal to raising ten plus one whole to the power n. Okay, this is what the basics of binomial theorem also suggests. But uh, we will not go into the deeper details of it. We will try to solve this problem without going into the details of binomial theorem. For that, we need to do some trend analysis. Let us say eleven to the power two was how much? Can be written as ten plus one squared. So hence, if you see, it is nothing but by our a plus b whole square identity, we'll get ten square plus two times ten. Now I'm putting a dot here. Don't confuse this with decimal. This is not decimal. This is a product sign. So two times ten plus one squared. Correct. Next, eleven to the power three, and eleven to the power three is nothing but ten plus one to the power three, and you know the identity a plus b whole cube. And you will get ten cube plus three times ten square plus three times ten plus one. So I'm not writing one cube here. I'm just writing one. Now eleven to the power four. Whether you know the identity or not, I'll tell you. If by just by multiplying these two twice, you'll get this. Ten to the power four plus four times ten cube plus four. Sorry, six times ten squared. Plus four times ten plus one. So if you notice the trend as you are, you know the as you are increasing the power two, three, and four. So you see a trend here. There is two. This is two. This is three. And this is four. Likewise here, if you see, this is three. This is four. Right. The last second last term has the second and the second last terms has this these coefficients. So likewise, if you if you just try to extrapolate, so eleven to the power five will be ten plus one to the power five is equal to ten to the power five plus you know the next term, five into ten to the power four, right? Plus whatever it is, these are our powers of ten. The second last term definitely will be five times ten plus one. Right. So hence, if you keep on doing this exercise, so for Eleven to the power one one one. This will be equal to ten plus one to the power one one one. So hence it is it is equal to ten to the power one 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 plus one 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 times ten to the power one one zero. One less than. If you see, if it is four, this one is three. If it is three, this one is two. If it is five, this one is four. Isn't it? So if it is one 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 here, it will be ten to the power one one ten. Though it is not important for this problem, but for understanding purposes. So now, last second last term will be one 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 till times ten plus one, and mind you, before this term there will be power of ten, yeah. So all here, third last is power ten. If uh, power two, can you see this? Power two, so it will be power two here. Or also will be power two. So hence, if you add these terms, the last two digits is of obviously zero and zero. Why? Because all these are higher powers of ten. Now that means the total eleven to the power eleven one one one. The last two digits will come from this sum, and this sum is nothing but one 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 and one. 
okay so even if after adding let us say um, whatever whatever the sum comes here you add this to this so you have some digits here and last two digits are zero zero for this part and for this part you have one 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 so if you add both of them you'll get one one and whatever digits are there it is immaterial right so what do we get the last two digits are nothing but 11 